Hey, I'm Henry. I lead AI research here at Art of Finance. And in this video, we're going to be exploring the application of large language models into the financial advisory process. And specifically, how do we leverage them to produce an optimal allocation for the user? As a brief reintroduction, this is our in-progress research prototype, not actively available to members yet, but we hope soon, of the Arda Large Language Model Advisory. This is the initial chat interface where the user can interact. You can see here I'm coming into a pre-existing user account. I've already spoken with the advisor a little bit, enough for it to understand my profile and get to this initially produced optimal portfolio that we see here down on the right-hand side. And as a recap of the key components of this process, we were very purposeful and that large language models aren't used to directly produce the recommended portfolio for the user. Instead, we're leveraging large language models to take the conversation as it happens, pull out key information and key attributes from it, things like primary income, net worth, accreditation status, time horizon of the user, investment experience, etc. but also things like the user has four kids, Two of them are about to go to college because this may or may not inform the liquidity constraints or future financial goals. These key attributes are then directly translated into financial metric scores across a preset series that we can see up here. So given the discussed portfolio with the advisor to sign me a relatively medium risk score, scores are from one to five, quite high liquidity, quite high time horizon, we hover over, you can see kind of some reasoning citations of how we're justifying the score and believe it's relevant based on the user's financial profile. And then these key financial attribute scores are taken and we can then produce the optimal portfolio, not through a black box advisor, but instead through a quantitative financial process of optimization, specifically we're using convex optimization in the background. And so this is a well-researched, well-proven methodology that's existed for a long time and gives mathematically theoretical optimal allocations across our products, given our understanding and scoring of the products and our understanding and scoring of the user's financial profile. And if we dive into the portfolio here, we can see a very high level asset class breakdown between fixed income, public equity, alternatives. Unfortunately, uh, I can't actually double click into this and show the per product level breakdown, given that we have compliance, you got to be an accredited investor and such. But if you'd like to see more and learn more, go to our website, sign up as a user. You can get an in-depth view there. But so throughout the conversation, as the user is able to speak with the advisor and as we gain a more nuanced understanding of the user's financial portfolio or profile, we can then update this allocation over time. Again, really purposely, not through some non-deterministic black box system, but rather through a purposeful and structured reproducible quantitative finance application optimization process. And I'll give an example of this real time if it works with me. Again, research system and such. So perhaps I'll give you a contrived example. I'm coming in, I have a life update. Perhaps I can say, hey, uh, I've, been promoted at work. I now make 500K a year, in my dreamland, and my private tech company went public, so I'm worth $10 million if I can type. And then we'll give it a time horizon and liquidity constraint here. Because I, perhaps I say, given this, I want to buy a home on the beach for $5 million, and I'll need a $2 million down payment in six months. And so we should see a couple things happen here as it responds. Oh, IPO, congrats. Awesome. We love it. $2 million down payment. Yep, makes sense. We can see here a specific cash constraint gets picked up. Uh, six months, we can then take this into account when actually proposing the optimal portfolio. Primary income was updated. The accreditation status also updated to qualified purchaser, given my net worth exceeded the 5 million threshold. If we go up here, the liquidity went down by quite a bit, given that I have this huge, uh, perhaps bad home purchase coming up so soon. 
Um, and then it's suggesting a cash management strategy. Sure, perhaps I say, given this, I also want higher risk. Perhaps a nonsensical answer, but again, contrived example to show the portfolio, recognizing this, and then being able to update in real time. So as we go through, we can see the scores get updated, perfect, and then boom, off on the right-hand side here, we can see the allocations across the asset classes change given these updated constraints and the updated financial portfolio or profile of the user. And so, yeah, UI is a little hacky, but research demo in progress. Uh, I think this application of LLMs to structure information and then feed into a well-researched, well-organized, explicit quantitative process to produce the optimal portfolio is a really powerful paradigm that we'll continue to use and explore here at Art of Finance across not just the financial advisory, but how this can also relate even to our portfolio construction and any other aspect. So thank you. Uh, just a quick little behind the scenes here, sharing some research that we're quite excited about here at Art of Finance. And I look forward to continue to be able to share these feature updates as we produce and, and research them.